All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Fausto Puglisi. Let me get a quick uh, audio check if you can hear me okay. Just want to be able to make sure everybody can hear loud and clear. It's going to uh, post up the uh, webcam. All right, let me just fix the chat room over here and get that up and running. All right, perfect. Good to see you, George. Good to see you. Look at that. A lot of CTU students are there. Well, it's good to see you. Jeff Sale, good to see you. Gene. Sharon, good to see you. William, everybody. All right, perfect. All right, can everybody see the uh, the screen up on, be able to see the screen that says uh, Iceberg Orders, how to beat uh, the market manipulation? All right, good. Well, welcome, everybody. Uh, hopefully, everybody has uh, been safe. Thank you, students, for being here. And thank you if you're new here at Cybertrain University. My name is Fausto Puglisi. I'm the president and founder of Cybertrain University. I'm here to teach you how to day trade, how to swing trade, and also understand how to control and trade today's volatile markets. You probably watched me on YouTube. You probably watched me on Facebook. You probably heard me do lots of presentations over the years, after 25 years. Well, now it's time to take matters in your own hands. And let me tell you, after what's been going on here uh, with this whole coronavirus, everybody's now figuring out how long is this going to last? I mean, is this only, is it going to be up to a vaccine? Is this going to last the next five years? Am I still going to have a job? What am I going to do to make supplemental income? Is Social Security going to still be there? You know, well, you know, it's time to take matters in your own hands. And I could tell you this. Cybertrain University has been extremely overwhelmed. Uh, education has been a really big business uh, in the way of everybody wants to learn how to trade now. Everybody's like, you know what? I can't, sports are out of business. You don't know what's happening there. Casinos are closed. Uh, people don't know if they have, you know, if their job's going to continue. So it's time to kind of start saying, you know what? Maybe this is a time for a new a career. But let me tell you the problem with today's, today's uh, industry. Everybody wants to try it but they end up making mistakes and end up losing, okay? And you know what? I don't want that to be you. You have to learn how to play the game. So hopefully, I'm gonna talk for about an hour, and at the end of this presentation, I'm gonna invite every single one of you to come join my original trading room that I started 25 years ago, which you see a lot of people bouncing around, opening them up, um, but you're gonna to come to the original one, and you are going to see people, not me, you're going to see people that we've trained that are making six, seven figures, and this is not no BS. You are going to be the witness of it. You're going to see it, and you're going to make the judgment, and then you're going to realize, you know what? Maybe I'm going to do it, or maybe I'm not, but it's better off you see first before you actually go out there and hit your first trade. So let's talk about what we're gonna be learning today. So we're gonna talk about how to find some stocks that we traded. You heard, if, you, if you watched and see one of our biggest winners this week was, um, was the stock symbol Fran. Another one is Kodak, okay? And you know, we, we knew Kodak before that anybody even was even calling it out, okay? We saw that news, we saw it on Tuesday, then you saw everybody hopping on the Kodak train. You know what, I'm not a genius, I don't have a crystal ball, but I'm gonna teach you how you could find exactly what we do. And that's just, just, that's just the tip of the iceberg. I'm gonna show you how we follow the smart money. I'm gonna talk about how we develop a, a trading plan where people don't understand. How do you get in, how do you get out? How do you, how do you, what tools do you use? What indicators should I use? What brokerage firm should I open? How to do modern, uh, how to do modern day trading with time and sales? And most importantly, how to treat this like a business. Because at the end of the day, let's be honest, why are you here? You're here to make money. That's the bottom line. Now, I'm going to be asking people questions as we go along. I know we have a lot of people here. Uh, looks like we'll have a very, very, uh, you know, very, very successful day here. Hold on, let me just see something here. Oh, there we go. Just got something here. Just want to see so I could see exactly how many, you know, if anyone has any questions or we have some raising hands of people. But um, there are a lot of people that are logged in and just want to give you guys a heads up. I could only answer so many questions, so I'll do the best that I can to answer those questions, but I'm going to try to open them up at the end of the day. But I'm going to do poll questions. Um, so don't be scared. No one's going to yell at you. No one's going to rat you out to your spouse that you've been trading under that, underneath their nose and don't you know what you're doing and now you're trying to learn. Listen, just do it right the first time or don't do it at all. But what I'm just going to tell you this, I'm going to be really honest with you. Trading is not for everybody, okay? So you do it right or you don't do it at all. And I'm going to show you um, how to do it the right way. How do I know how to do it the right way? Because I was also a very big failure, okay? 
Why was I a failure? Well, 25 years ago when I was a little puppet, little boy, you know, at 22 years old with an egotistical attitude, thought like, ah, what do I need to learn from anybody? I could do it myself. You know, and back then we'd have the internet as we had today. I was reading a couple of books. I was watching CNBC and everything else. Well, it's not as easy as hitting the buy and sell button. And I learned that the hard way. Finally, I did what everybody did not want to do. You know how today people don't like to take education courses because, ah, this guy, I don't know if it's really good. I hear bad reviews or it's expensive, this and that. Well, back then, I didn't want to split the profits with somebody. You thought, you thought spending a couple of hundred, a couple of thousand dollars on training was a lot. Imagine making, you know, a, a, a quarter, a half a million dollars and 25, 20, 250,000 has to go to a company you work for. Who wants to do that? You know, well, you know what? Unfortunately, it's better, better sharing half of it than losing all of it. All right. So I finally took a job uh, uh, as a trader. I finally, you know, living here in New York, was trained by the best traders in the world. I tried to get in certain firms. Thank God I had some really good friends in my industry, in that industry that took me under their wing. Because trust me, it's a private club. It really is a private club. And let me tell you, what I've learned on the first day on the job, when I first walked in and I saw hundreds of traders high-fiving each other, you know, screaming, smashing keyboards, I'm like, wow, look at the, the, look at the intensity, look at the camaraderie, look at everything. Um, I realized this is where I should have been in the day one. And you know what? I've learned, what I've learned is I should have never made my first trade. And that's what you guys are going to learn today. You are going to learn why, you know, you're losing money and why you're not making money. Okay, and, uh, and that's what I want to share. And let me tell you, nothing really has changed from what I've learned 25 years ago to today other than you don't have to split half the profits and pay $20 a ticket. Now you're getting tickets for free, okay? And people still can't make money, and I still can't figure that one out. So anyway, just to kind of let you look a little history about why, because a lot of people ask me, and they say, you know, Fausto, um, you know, if you're such a good trader, why you teach? Well, I'm going to tell you a little bit about that. I have an invested interest in you to succeed, and I'm going to show you exactly why, why it is. But the question is this. Why are you here? Just remember this. You are here for one reason and one reason only, and that is to make money. It's not about looking at, you know, oh, I want to hear Fausto what he has to say or, oh, you know, uh, is, you know let me check out his good-looking hair. I don't know. Whatever, whatever it is, okay? The bottom line is, you're not here for stock picks. You're not here for, you know, you're not here to kind of like take what I've learned and try to plot. You're here to make money. You don't care what you trade. You don't want to know what you trade. First of all, I had no, if you, if you, we're going to talk a little bit about Kodak and people could be like, well, well, what do they do? I thought they were just making Polaroids, you know? I don't know. I didn't even, honestly, I didn't even know they were in the, in, in the medical industry. I really I had no idea until they signed that, you know, the government gave them that billion dollar contract. Okay. I, you know, I knew they were in the blockchain business, you know what I mean? Uh, which a lot of you probably didn't know, but apparently, you know, listen, it worked out well for them. And, you know, thank you for, uh, you know, being, you know, that's, that's corporate America. But remember, there's going to be a lot more stocks like that. So, now, the question I have for, uh, for, uh, for you is, who? first, I want to know a little bit about everybody. I want to know, um, actually, uh, right here, hold on. Let me get a poll really quick. And I want to know exactly uh, who really trained you, okay? So I'm going to do a quick poll right here. So can everybody just tell me, um, are you self-taught? Are you, do you take paid courses? Uh, are you doing coaching? Do you have a mentor? You know, I just want to see what kind of everyone's here. By the way, like I said, this is completely confidential. All right. I'm just going to share it with everybody and just get the idea. Now, listen, if you say you're self-taught, that's okay. Listen, everybody likes to do it the hard way. Okay. And you know what? Sometimes the best thing to do is you, just as long as you lose a lot of money, you kind of realize, you know, as much as you probably shouldn't have known, uh, they have to do it right. So let me share my, let me share the share the results. So we got about 62% of you, uh, that are self-taught. 48% of you actually took paid courses because I could see a lot of you are students here at Cyber University. And, uh, we do have a couple of people that have some mentors and coaches. Okay. Now my next question is I want to do one more poll and, 
I want to get to know a little bit about what kind of traders you are in this room. So uh, can everybody just tell me, are you a stock trader, options trader, futures, Forex? Just want to tell you, just get to know a little bit about it. All right. Uh, Tom, just put it in the um, just put it in the the poll that's popping up on the right hand side. Just tell me what you are. This is great. I love doing polls. You know what? I love when people interact and answer this question. Uh, I don't know why people don't answer it, but looks like a lot of you are, which is awesome. All right, so let me share this. Okay, so it looks like a lot of you are in the stock market. We got, a, we got actually got a, quite a lot of options people in here. 51% uh, of you do options. We have some futures, Forex, and we do have a couple of people that have investing. I'm shocked that's not even a little bit higher because I would even click yes on that too. Um, but listen, I'm just gonna let you know, I'm an actual day trader. What does a day trader really mean? Ooh, you're a day trader. I heard they all lose money. I heard about the, 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 what happened in 2000 and everything. Listen, Day trading, believe it or not, is the easiest and simplest and the most controlling and the most conservative type of trading you could do. Why? Because you're in and out the same day. You're not holding positions overnight. You don't need all these analytical tools. You're just basically getting in there in the morning. You're finding what's moving. It's a job. That's it. You don't, you're not trying to figure things out. You're not trying to work in it. Now, if you're a swing trader, it's a little bit more riskier. Where there's more risk, there's more money. So yes, you make more money in swing trading, not as much as day trading, but you know you have to be an analyst. You got to work. So I, and then you have people that trade options. Options is the most hardest thing to trade because how? And so what I'm saying is this: if you want to be a good options trader. How the hell do you know what option to trade if you don't even know what the stock is doing? Isn't the movement of the stock that makes an option move? How do you know what to swing trade, you know, if you don't even know what's happening over the course of the day? All right? We were trading – what's a big mover that we traded recently? Oh, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, overstock. Overstock went from $4 to $70. We saw that happening – you know, just by watching the day trade. And then that day trade became a little bit more swing trade. And it's only within three months, you know? And then all of a sudden you can see where, it, you know, where it's now. And I went to 70. So it all starts by day trading, okay? And then you can understand that swing trade. So that's what I like to do. Now, um, the thing, now, the thing is this. I'm going to show you exactly how these things work, but I want you to understand something very, very important. I am here specifically and exclusively not to teach you how to make money and how to trade today's market. I know it's probably your goal, but I'm just, I'm telling you right now, what I am looking to do is I'm looking to recruit traders that I could train that we can make money together. Just like the picture you're seeing up on that screen. And what's gorgeous about that picture, you'll notice they're people just like you. Okay. They're not people that are, you know, snobby, you know, with, uh, their, their, their $10,000 outfits and this, that their grandmas, their grandpas, their engineers, their bakers, their border control people, there are cowboys. Uh, there are, uh, engineers, professors. These people are just like you. Okay. And that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for people I could train that I can make money with. And if you think that you have it in you, then, this is what you're going to basically uh, what you're going to you're going to get out of this. So, getting back to trading. Just going to let you guys know. I know you've done events like this all the time, and you probably hear this all the time. Can I see your trades? Okay. Yes. You know how you're going to see it? You're going to come in my trading room. Because if you're somebody that's out there looking for seeing reports and stuff like that, people ask me, so Fausto, I've taken a class. I want to see these trades if they really work. Guess what? You are going to get them and you're going to see them. But guess what? I'm going to show you to them live in my trading room. All right. And it's not just mine. It's going to be every. You're going to see everybody that we train doing the same. Now, just out of curiosity, did anybody here seen what happened with Kodak? Did anybody see what happened with Kodak? Rich, you did. Sin, you did. Tom, okay, good. Good. Jeff, obviously we have a bunch of students here. Okay, so Kodak, um, we found Kodak, but most of our trades that we do is in pre-market, okay? I know a lot of people are like, how do you do that? I never trade pre-market. My broker won't let me. I know that, and they do that on purpose. Um, 
and we'll, you'll see in a trading room. But we were trading Kodak right at the gate when it started, right around six dollars. Uh, it started blowing out on Tuesday, and it started making a big run. So you can see here from all the trades, and these are all the chats. By the, oh, you know what? Let me get my pointer out here so you guys can follow along. Apologize. Let me get that up. Uh, where is my spotter? There we go. Okay, there we go. See my little dot? Okay. So basically, you could see how the stock just literally took off. Now, why did it take off? How did it go up? Who ran it up? These are things I'm going to show you in today's markets, uh, what's happening. And not only did it run up, the damn thing ran from 20, actually down to six. It ran all the way to 60 in one day. Look at all these traders, Scott. Look how much he made, 39.50 to 52. These are all traders that you saw in that picture, okay? Well, some of them. Um, we have you know, plenty of students that that was an on-site event. But you could see these, these are people just like you that are making money, okay? And they all traded it. Now, if you want to, what I recommend a lot of you, I don't know, is any of you guys subscribed to our YouTube channel? I, uh, Rich just posted up the YouTube channel. Uh, click on our YouTube channel here. You can watch a great video on it and you could just you know obviously this is probably an angry person who lost money on it but uh this is a video we just posted 44 likes uh stock was up 325 percent i did two videos on it watch the tuesday video watch the wednesday video and i think i did one yesterday too so there's three videos on it that will educate you on it and i'll show you a little bit of uh, i'll get a little more strategy explaining it but if you haven't subscribed to us yet subscribe to our youtube channel like us friend us you know, even on our fa uh, Facebook channel too. Now, how do we find stocks like Kodak? So let's begin. So basically how we actually found it is no secret place. My crystal ball is this, what everyone has in your own platform. It's the big percentage gainers and losers. That's exactly where we found it, okay? Um, now, the question is, there's a lot of stocks that are moving in the market today. How do you know which one is more volatile than others? Which ones have bigger spreads than others? Everything else. Well, we will basically dissect that for you. Um, and we start doing it at 8 o'clock in the morning, an hour and a half before the market opens up. But when you ask me where we find them, that's where we find them. The big percentage gainers and losers. Ask me why, you know, INFI is up 86%. I really don't care. I really don't give a crap. OK, all I know is if it's going to make me if it's going to make me money and I have to risk a lot of money to do it, I'm going to trade it. OK, because by the time I figure it out, I'm already taking taking a profit. And you know what? There's so many of them out there. Look at all these stocks from one to twenty five, 60 percent, 50 percent, 40 percent, 39. There's so many stocks that are moving. They got great volume. They got great, a great price range. But the thing is this out of all of them, which one is going to give you the least amount of risk with the high amount of reward? Well, that's what we basically, um, I'm going to show you. And how we do that is basically going out there and having a game plan. Now, my question to you is this. And everybody, I want everybody to answer this question. This is a very important question, okay? If you cannot answer this question, you need to quit trading immediately. And the question is this. How do stocks go up and down in the stock market? How do they go up and go down? It's, I'll give you a hint. It's two words. And there's a few ways you could say it. And it's not BS. <laughs> but it is exactly buyers and sellers. Thanks a lot, John. Thanks a lot, Sharon, Vicky, Wayne. Buyers and sellers or supply and demand. Okay. Does anyone dispute that? If you're disputing that right now, then you do, I'm going to do you a favor. Just get out of the room because you're wasting your time being here, okay? Because what I'm about to show you is one of Wall Street's biggest secrets. How do I know that? Because I helped develop it. I, was, I helped develop Island. I helped develop these broke – you know, when you watch the video at the end of today's presentation, we'll play a video of me being on NASDAQ. I'm a regular guest there talking about NASDAQ Total View. I'm going to talk about it. But it all comes down to this, buyers and sellers. Okay, so the thing is this, you're looking at a stock, you look at Kodak, you're like, okay, here's a stock. Oh my God, if I bought that stock, I wouldn't have to worry about a $1,200 um, stimulus uh, package or what's going on. I, you know, I could just make it right here. Great job. How did you find it? It's all about following the money. Okay, that's all you need to do. 
who, who, who they are. They're brokerage firms, institution investors, and insiders, or in other words, high frequency trades and algorithms. That's all we do. Most people fail because they're not watching that. They're watching some ridiculous mathematicians indicators. No offense to any mathematicians, but that's what they're doing. They're looking at some heat seeker on a platform that's telling them, you know, it's giving them all these, you know, flashy, funky lights. They have to listen to somebody that, that, that figured out, you know, some candlestick that's showing you wicks and lengths and hairs and this. Listen. Stop with the BS, okay? Stop pretending to be an analyst. Let's just follow the money. So how do we do that? Well, there are three ways how we get that data. There's level one, level two, and level three. Now, level two, does anybody, by the way, anybody here have level two? Anybody here have level two quotes? To get a quick yes or no. Yes, George, you have it. Tom, you have it. Wow, a lot. What the hell are you using it for anyway? Level two has been outdated since the 90s, okay? They were actually trying to get rid of it. It's a waste of your time, okay? Um, it was only good in the 90s. It's not good anymore. All it does is this. And let me explain to you. Let me, let me, I want to show it to you because what I'm about to show you is going to explain to you how to follow the money, okay? So follow along closely. Let me get my little, uh, let me get my draw line, okay? So right here, these are your buyers, and these are your sellers, okay? So you got two columns. You got market maker ID, which is brokerage firm ID. The bid price is what they wanna buy for, and size is how many shares. Everything there is multiplied by 100. So here you have whoever wants to buy the stock for the most amount of money on the bid side, and whoever wants to buy for less money is down at the bottom. The problem with level two is this. Now listen to me carefully. It's only showing you the brokerage firm's best bid and best offer. What exactly does that mean? Well, NASDAQ, you see that there is 1,300 shares looking to be bought of American Airlines at $16.62. What does that really mean? Other than NASDAQ probably got other orders out there Tons of orders, a lot lower. Maybe, you know, they might be, might be looking to buy 1,300 shares at 1,662, but he probably 100,000 share looking to buy at 1,660, which will make it more of a demand. You're not seeing that level two. So that's why level two is pretty much outdated. Now, let me clear this out and let me move on here. So, quick poll question again. I hope I'm not boring you guys with this, all right? So my poll question to you is this. Who here has level three? Okay, so let me do a pick poll. By the way, if you're a student of CTO, please do not answer this question other than prior that you were a student, okay? Because I want to see the statistics. I always say that. Uh, Francesco says, uh, don't know how to get level three. Well, you're in good hands, Francesco, because I'm going to answer that for you, okay? But before I tell you where to get it, you got to know what the hell it is. You got to know, well, okay, there's another software. You sell it, sell it. No, listen, I, I don't work for these brokerage firms. I'm not selling you a damn thing. I'm just teaching you exactly how blind you've been trading all these years. All right. So we got, we got a really good, um, a good poll going on here, which I'm a little disappointed because a lot of you are not, you know, there's still people that are not answering this question. What are you afraid of, by the way? What are you for? Could you just, Mike, could you answer this question? I didn't see you put it in a poll. John, Bill, come on. Who else didn't answer here? What are you guys afraid of? Scott? Dor Dor Doreen? Come on. Don't let me call you out on it. Just be honest. Be honest with yourself. If you can't be honest with you, that means that when you lose money, you walk your head and admit that you were wrong. They're like, oh, it wasn't my fault. It was, uh, you know, it was Trump's fault. You know what I mean? I mean, that's, that's being ignorant. Oh, no, it was the you know, Congress fault. Oh, no, it was uh, the CEO yesterday talking. That's why I lost money. No, you lost money because you didn't have a game plan. Be honest. Do you have level three or not? Okay, so we have, let me share this result. 10% of you do, almost 80% don't, and then you have a lot of people I'm not sure. I'll just take that as a no, okay? All right, so let me explain to you what this is. Level two, level three is going to show you 
20 times more data than level two does. What that means is that you're gonna see every single order out there that's being posted on the exchange. And we're gonna start off with NASDAQ total view, which by the way, uh, I'm just gonna bring this over so you can see this. Um, I'm gonna play this video on NASDAQ total view. You can see it right here at the end of the presentation. As you guys are registering to come into my trading room, I'm gonna bring you back over here and you'll be able to watch that video uh, in full version of, you know, cause let me tell you something. NASDAQ wants you to learn this stuff. They know you need this stuff. When they know I, when they found out I was preaching it, and let me tell you, they don't just take anybody off the street that teaches training. They're like, you know what? We know people need to read this stuff, and they want you to have it because this is exactly how NASDAQ works. So um, this is what we got. We got buyers and we got sellers. Very simple. You got orders, you got shares, and you got a bid price. You got ask, shares, and orders. So orders is basically telling you how many different orders are out there at that specific price. So for example, down here at 1450, you got, you got literally people that are trading on the NASDAQ market. Are, there's about 2,800 shares and there's 11 different orders around the world. That could be made up of 100 shares, 1,000 shares, 200 shares, whatever, but there are 11 different orders. So basically, if you look right here, I checked this box, which says aggregate, I aggregate all those orders. So I really don't care how, like, you know, what the order is, you know, if it's a 100 share guy or 200, I just care about how many they're out there. Helps me consolidate the orders. All right, uh, you can see there's a lot of guys here at 9,000, 2,000, 4,000. And you can see like, like you know what's funny? When you look at this, you're like, why would anybody waste their time to buy five shares? I don't know, maybe it's a guy on training mode. You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, don't, don't be, don't, it's not, don't, don't insult the guy. <laughs> the guy just, maybe wants to try trading Rite Aid. Wants to trade five shares, big deal. Okay, but you could see it. You could see it, but that doesn't interest me. What interests me is what I'm going to show you next. When I trade, what I'm looking for is what we call iceberg orders, big block orders like this one. We're looking at um, space, a stock symbol space. You probably heard about it. People's paying quarter million dollars going into space. Ridiculous, whatever. You know, you probably can't afford it. Who cares? But you know what? Stock is a fun stock to trade. And what makes it fun is this. Space went from 1825 right up, to, uh, right up to 1960 in about, I don't know, 15 minutes. Came right back down to 1825 in about, what, an hour and a half. For some ridiculous reason, again, we hit that support level and went right back to 1940. If you just knew how to trade that stock, you could have went long, short long and could have made, I don't know, a dollar, let's use a regular, a dollar long, a dollar short, a dollar long, you know, but why, how would you have known that? You know how you would have known that? By following the money. And when you look over here on NASDAQ uh, book viewer, there was a 100,000 share buyer at 1825. Now that kind of makes sense. Like why was it, why did it keep hitting that 1825? Why didn't it hit like, why didn't it stop at 19? Why didn't it go back down to zero? Why 1825? And you're sitting there looking at the chart. Oh, because of Fibonacci said so. Oh, because of previous support level. No, it has nothing to do with that. It has to do with everything about, there's a guy looking to buy 102,000 shares out there and it's made of three people. It's not this guy that's looking to buy 100 shares. It's not even this guy that's looking to buy one share. It's the guy looking to buy 100,000 shares. Now, let's look at vice versa on a resistance levels. What stocks, what stops a stock from breaking resistance levels? Well, look at United Airlines. Stock at 930 goes from 3150 right up to 34. Huge winner in an hour. Could you imagine buying a stock at 3150? Okay, let's say 32. And you sell at 34, you make $2,000 on 1,000 shares. $32,000 investment, $2,000 a day, hours worth of work, half a million dollars, ching ching, I'll take that day, I'll take that money any day, okay? But the $64,000 question is, 
How did you know it was going to stop at 34? Why didn't it stop at 33? Why didn't it go back to its all-time highs of 70? Why 34? Very simple. When you look at the orders out there, when you got to have a game plan. You have to know when you're making money, you got to have your stop ready. Where do you want your stop ready? Not what the history tells you. It's what the present the future is going to uh, going to tell you, and the future tells me with that there's a hundred and two twenty three thousand share seller, and there are thirty nine orders around this entire world that are trading on the Nasdaq market that are trying to sell American Airlines at thirty four dollars. Why in the hell would I want to question that guy? Okay, and say ah, fake news. That stock that I don't know what that means. That does that really mean anything? Oh yeah. It's only about $4 million worth of stock. Are you trading $4 million in an idea? Would you like to follow somebody that's got $4 million out there? Because you know what? I don't think the guy that's 527 shares is going to stop it from going higher. Or the guy that's at 50 shares. But I definitely want to keep an eye on this guy at 123000 It's as simple as that. You follow the money. All right. Did I lose anybody yet? Are we lost? Are we lost? No, no, no. One of you guys just wrote me a long email. I can't read that fast. <laughs> okay. But we'll, we'll have uh, Rich answer you back. No. Every follow up. But once again, anyone confused? Like, does that seem hard? Does that seem hard? You see a big order, make support, make some resistance. Okay. So now we're going to have a little test. We're going to have a little fun, right? Uber. Is Uber going, is, it, is Uber trending up or trending down? What do you think? Is actually, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm gonna do a poll question. Let's do that because you know what? You guys want to see how everybody else answers, and I love doing this. Okay, so where are we? Okay, there we go. Launch poll. All right. Let me put that. Let's go that. Let's do a poll because I think people don't like to type. You know, type easier. I know they like click buttons. I'm making it very easy for you. What is the trend, up or down? This always freaks me out. I, I still can't figure this out. Okay, I'm gonna do some people some favors right now. Okay, I'm gonna end the poll and it looks like a lot of people are answering, wow, this is great. Looks like more people are starting to get it. Okay, now I'm gonna share the results. Now, I still can't understand why, you, why people think it's going up. 8% of you think it's going up. That looks like it's going up to you. That really looks like it's going up to you. 92% of you just, just basically are correct. 8% of you, you need help. I have no idea what you made me think that you think the stock is going. This stock is trending down. If and buts, no matter what, it's trending down, period. Okay? I, I still can't figure that one out. But you know what? I always get people that do it. And it's great because now some of you here, that and by the way, nobody could see who said it was going up, but now some of you here could see, like, oh, now I know why people lose money in trading, okay? Because why would he think that's going up? Trend is going down, he really needs help. That person, okay? And by the way, if, if you said, don't, don't be, don't be defense, don't, don't be insulted, okay? Because if you can't learn from constructive criticism, you'll never learn how to be a successful trader. Now, what do we need for the stock to go up? Let me go back. What do we need for the stock to go up? Everybody. Buyers. Okay. I think everybody agrees with that. We need a buyer. B. You can write B. Just type in B. I know some of us are not fast typers. Type in B. Okay. We need buyers. Now, do you see buyers on a chart? No. How are we going to know when the stock's going to hit support levels? Because is this Uber going to go down to $30, $30 down to zero? Is it going to stop at 10, 20? You know, what, what, where is it going to stop? Okay. We need to know where the buyers are, right? We need level three. We need, we need to look at the book viewer. So let's look at NASDAQ book viewer. So now we're looking at, the, we're looking at here and you'll notice where are we looking on the left-hand side, the buyers. What are we looking for? A substantial amount of buyers. The biggest substantial amount of buyers that I see is right here. Uh, 20,000 shares at 30 bucks. Okay, listen, 
Could the stock go to 29.91? Sure it could. Can it go all the way down here to 29.83? Of course it could. 200 shares, 400 shares, but I'm really a little concerned about the 20,000 shares because there's a lot of, when you look at it, there's not a lot of shares being bought and sold at a specific price, but there are, there's one big substantial, I'm looking at it going down. Remember, I'm worrying about where I could buy it or how about this? Any of you guys go out there and like are losing money in a position, like shoot, do I sell it now? And then you know when you sell it, as soon as you sell it, the thing goes up. And by the way, has that ever happened to you? I'm going to ask everybody a dumb question. Do you ever feel like somebody's watching you? You do a trade like, damn, every time I sell these damn stocks, the freaking thing goes up. And as soon as I sell it, you know, you know, I mean, I'm sorry, as soon as I buy it, as soon as I buy it, it goes down. As soon as I sell it, it goes up. It's like people are watching you. Rob says, hell yes. I love, I love bringing up that question. I had a student the other day, he goes, Fausto, you got me at hello. When you said that, he goes, I was sold just on you. You know what the answer is? It's not that they're watching you. It's that you are not watching them. That is the problem. Okay. Now is it starting to make sense? That's the problem. So I'm going to change the slide here and I'm going to go to the next slide. Now look at Uber, what happened here. It came down, and you guys are right. The trend was down. But then I don't want to pick on the people that said it was going to go up. You said it was going up, but you didn't give me a reason why it was going up. And the reason why it was going up, now I think everybody would say, oh, yeah, stock is definitely going up. If I just saw those orders, I don't, whatever the chart tells you, yeah, the trend is down. But you know what? There's a buyer there. And guess what? Uber went there, and it hit. It went from that 3050, dropped down to 30, went back to 30, 220. Came back down to 30, buyer's still out there, went right back to 30, uh, 30, 30. That is the only reason why the stock did not go lower. So if you said it was going up, congratulations, you actually were right, okay? But you didn't give me a reason why. Maybe I forgot to ask, but I bet if everybody said it was going down and saw that, and they said, oh yeah, I changed my, I changed my vote, okay? I changed my vote. I'm a swinger. I'm a swing vote. I, I went from down, it's going up now. And within a blink of an eye is exactly how you have to react to be a good trader. Because this is why people lose money. They're looking at a trade and they're like, oh, stock's going down. Let me get out. But when you start looking at the data, you're like, you know what? I'm not going up. I'm actually going to buy more. Actually, or you might say, you know what? That's where the bleeding's going to stop. That's where the bleeding's going to stop. Let's look at the VIX. Because this works for everything, ETFs, everything. Let's look at the VIX, okay? Can you tell me where resistance levels is on the VIX? Where's the resistance levels on VIX? Let's see how you guys answer that question. Resistance would be sellers. The sellers are on the right. What makes a resistance is a lot of sellers. Don't mind me talking very you know, slowly, but I want you guys to, I'm trying to be very, very specific here. Okay. So if you said 3715, congratulations, you are correct. There are 55,000 shares that are trading in the VIX at 3715 without looking at a chart, without looking at an indicator, without listening to some rid ridiculous analyst on TV that's going to try to, you know, try to uh, lecture me, that stock is not going a damn place until that guy cancels his order or somebody buys it from him. So, my, so what I'm doing is my game plan is that if I own the stock right now at 37.02, I'm probably going to plan on getting out at 37.14 or 13 right before that guy because I don't want to be I don't want to be behind him. I want to be in front of him. Now, when you look at this chart right here, guess what? Ah, oh, trend is up. Stock looks great. The stock's going back to its previous uh, highs today. Whatever it is, means nothing to me. Means nothing to me. You know what it means to me? The guy before. Because if you didn't have that game plan before, guess what? 
that stock, if you didn't have a game plan to get out, went from 34, 34 up to that 37, guess what? Now you back down to 34 and you're crying. You're literally crying like, oh my God, I got a thousand shares. I just lost $3,000. You want to know why? Oh, now you know why? That's why. And I, I, I don't, you know, I don't feel bad for people, you know, other than if you just knew what you were doing, if you just knew what the guy was, if someone was out there, why are you trying to like, oh, but the, I learned how to trade the ETFs, the ETFs, oh, the ETFs, the, oh, the, I can't buy ETF. What the hell does that mean? What does that really mean? You have to learn how to play the game, guys. That's all it is. So this is what I'm looking for. There is no platform out there that will help you find these iceberg orders. You have, to, you have to figure it out on your own. And what I'm looking to do today is I'm not here to sell you anything. What I'm looking to do is I'm looking to find traders that could help me spot those iceberg orders so we could trade together. I know a lot of you probably attended other webinars and classes and took courses with other people. But um, I'm not someone that's here that's going to sell you a 1,000 hours of videos because you know you're not going to watch them, okay? What I'm looking to do is I want to invite all of you here and see if you're capable of, of helping me find these iceberg orders so we could trade together. You see, that's why I teach. See, a lot of people ask me, say, Fausto, you know what? I know you're a great trader. I read your book. You know, um, you, know you could buy it on Amazon, How to Be Market Makers in Our Own Game. It's, it's been published by Wiley very well-known publisher, 12-time uh, champion, endorsed by more brokerage firms than anyone in the industry, have a five-star rating on Google. That means nothing to you. That, all that glory does not make you money, okay? But why I am where I'm at is because when I started trading, the only reason why I teach is because for me to be successful at what I do, I had to teach my traders to be successful to help us work together like a team. Remember when you logged in earlier? Listen, I'm not here to brag about myself. I was telling you earlier, but I want you to know the history a little bit about myself because I was a failure and I didn't know what to succeed until I worked in a brokerage firm and I didn't want to go work for a brokerage firm because I don't want to split the damn profits with them. And they were running a business on top of that and charging a desk fee and charging me a thousand. By the way, they charged me a thousand dollars a month for this data which costs you now 15 bucks a month, $15. Could you imagine $15 that I paid 20 years ago, a 22 year old kid paid a thousand dollars for that data. Who's got, who's, who's got thousand dollars in their pocket at 22 years old? Oh, you know how they, you know how you, you know how you pay for it? You know what they told me? I said, don't worry about it. It's going to pay for itself. If I told you how to be a quarter million dollar trader, do you have a problem paying a thousand dollars a month? I'm like, no smart business kid. Now we're going to make money together, okay? So the, what I've learned back then is what I've learned today. Nothing really has changed for what happened back then till today. Uh, now, regarding about the, the matrix, I, saw, I, know, so I see some of you keep bringing up regarding our trade station. Actually, we teach that uh, the, trade station is actually one of the platforms in our trading room. So yes, we'll use it. It's more aggregated. There's more ECNs out there. It's a better um, tool to use than to use just one. I'm just teaching you a kindergarten version of just one ECN tool. There's a lot more, okay? And by the way, you, you want to use it, you're going to see us use it. Now, here's the next question. A lot of people come up to me and they say, oh, yeah, I know. how do you know these are real orders? How do you know they're not canceling them? How do you know if they're fake? Listen, they're all real. OK, there's no brokerage firm that lets you put fake orders out there. Listen, you and I could cancel an order if we want to. But there is a window called time and sales. Time and sales is the confirmation of a transaction that took place. Time and sales is what we use. It's called tape readers. I'm actually one of those tape readers. Um, I teach my traders how to be a tape reader. OK, you probably read articles about like, oh, my God, is there any tape readers out there? Like I heard they were like, you know, yeah, you're looking at one right now. I, and that's what I'm going to teach you. I'm going to show you how to read the tape. Because, and the tape basically is, is just seeing the orders are out there and see if they're getting executed or if they're canceling them. So 
And by knowing that, just by knowing the, the color, you know, and uh, you know, knowing if the orders are getting executed on the bid and offer is going to give you an indication if, you know, if those big block orders are getting done. Now, let's look at this example right here, OXI, right? You look at this stock right here, OXI, what are you looking for? Big block orders, right? Right here, we could see that there's a big block order of 128,000 shares at $15, 70 different orders around there. So in theory, what should happen when the stock hits 15? What do you all think? What should the stock do when it hits that price? When it gets to 15, what would that be called? What do you guys think? It should be a support, right? It should stop. Right, Bart? JC, right. It's a support level. I mean, that's a lot of money. That's a lot, that's a, that's a lot of money right there. Was that almost $2 million? 70 people around the world are buying it. Absolutely. Definitely a support level without even thinking twice. All right. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the stock went lower. Actually went below, it went to 12. How does that happen, Fausto? You just told me, Fausto. You said, when there's a buyer, the stock goes up. And when there's a seller, a big block seller could go down. Well, maybe somebody wanted to get out of it. Maybe an institution wanted to blow out of those just shares. Maybe one of the, the, the CEO of the company wanted to get out of it. You know, because guess what? It sat there for several hours. And guess what? Eventually, if people keep selling it to that person, it's going to go down. You ever notice, like, you ever see, like, a stock, you like, even with indicators, be like, wow, what a big support level. How did that break it? How did that happen? Well, listen, maybe somebody sold it to him. Don't stocks trade? That's trading. Okay? Look at the time in sales. Red, 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 red. 2,500, 1,000, 2,000, 9,000, 2,000, 8,000, 3,000. The guy was getting hit. The traders were getting hit on the bid. No wonder the stock went down. Do you need an indicator to tell you that? By the way, do you know a chart gets his data from time and sales? How do you not, then why would you, why would you want to be left behind? You know, here's an example. So, you know, it, it's all about making money. It's all about following the money. That's what, all it comes down to, okay? So when you trade, ladies and gentlemen, let me explain something to you. You don't need to make a lot of money to make it. So if you see a stock that breaks major support and resistance levels, you really don't need, you, I mean, you really need that much to do it. Now, how do you make a successful career in trading? Like I said, if you just made 50 lousy cents, look at the stock right here, Kodak, right? It went from 12 to 20. Holy crap. I've had a thousand shares make myself eight grand, do that every year. I'll make about three, four, five million. Yeah, no, no, that's not how traders think. Traders think of like making a dollar, making 72 cents, making 60 cents. If you bought a thousand shares of either one of those stocks, let make 50 or even 50 cents. You know, if you make $500 a day, $500 a day, you had all day to do that. $500 is $100,000 a year salary. Who doesn't want that? Who doesn't want that uh, trade? Um, what about the, uh, the dark pools? Listen, there's a lot of people that are teaching dark pools. Guess where they learned it? So a lot of those people that talk about dark pools were my instructors and my students. You want to talk about dark pools? I'll show you dark pools in the trading room. Where did you think? And by the way, there they are they they do affect the market but not as much as high frequency trades okay but i don't know i just feel like a lot of people like that word dark pool like darth vader like it's scary. Ooh, darth vader you know dark pools but um but yeah i mean where do you think they learned it a lot of those people that you probably learn and hear about it were my instructors and are, are my students okay and i'm very proud of it and you know what apparently what ends up happening with my students they outgrow ctu and i end up teaching you how to teach other people that's just how it is. You know, that's how companies grow. If it's, if it's, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Um, now, let me explain, and, and this is something I wanna point out. Uh, 
We'll get, we'll get into the end of today's presentation. So I want to get everyone all ready to sign up and, and show everybody that I can show it to you live. You want to see live trades. You want to be able to see traders that do this every day. If you want to see if these are, are fake trades and if they're real, if it really happens, I want to invite everybody in just about another couple of minutes and then uh, I'm going to show you. But I want to explain something very carefully, all of you. Everybody here needs a mentor. You need a mentor. You can't, listen, your parents were your mentors. Your teachers were your mentors. Your professors were your mentors. Your boss was your mentor. No one here lived in the cave, okay, and then became very successful. You want to be a good trader, you're going to need more than one mentor. I know a lot of you took training courses. Please let us know when you register for today's event because a lot of them probably were instructors, and some of them, you know, because listen, there's a lot of bad ones out there. You know, listen, do everyone have to go to college? No. Are there some good colleges there? Are there some bad ones? Yeah, there's a lot of bad ones. Yeah. Do they all just want to take your money? Yeah. Unfortunately, it's a business. But the only way you're going to know is you've got to sample a little bit of everybody's stuff. Because let me tell you something, guys. Trading is the greatest job in the world. You could spend more time with your family. You could buy things you always wanted to. Listen. We have a couple of old timers here. How many of you are ready to retire? How many of you think that Social Security is still going to be there? Okay, people are living longer. You think you're going to live on your pension? You think you're going to live on your IRA? You, you, know, you have to continue to make money, okay? And you don't want to worry about it that, oh, my account just, I, I need $1,000. Oh, my, it's going down. You want to see your account going up, not going down, especially with the whole coronavirus. Okay, how many of you, I know any people I know are getting crushed right now. And I know a lot of people are killing it right now. You know as well as some of those people? Traders. Oh, you're a trader? You must be doing great. Yeah, how did you know? Uh, they know. They know because see what's happening with the market. So it's time for you guys to do the same. Time to relax, enjoy life, trade the market, get involved in one of the most prestigious jobs in the world. But you all have to learn somewhere. And to go out there, you have to learn from people that are endorsed by people that, are, that have a, a system that works, like Cybertrain University. Cybertrain University is endorsed by more brokerage firms than any school in the industry. It's a fact. And let me tell you something. Let me give you a little advice. I know some of you guys took some courses with some people. If you really want to know if you're dealing with a reputable company, don't do your search on the internet. Don't worry about what you read it. You know how you know? Go to the Better Business Bureau, okay? It's a state run, a, a, a federal run, and also check if brokerage firms are endorsing them. You know these brokerage firms do background checks on us? Do you know they look at our students, um, the people we trained? You know why these brokerage firms pay for training? Because they want to see if you know what you're doing. Because they know that if you're successful, you'll be a client there forever. Very, very important thing. I always stress this out. This is what I'm asking everybody to do. Okay, I want to invite you all to come in my live trading room, the original trading room that you, that you, you know, that you keep hearing about. I want you not to judge us on our winners. I want you to judge us and see how little and minimal losers we have. But not only me, I want you to look at the traders in the room, see if they're making money. See, if, see what this whole story about day trading is. See, and that's, uh, by the way, we don't just day trade, we swing trade too. And by the way, if you trade futures and Forex and options, you know what? I'm, 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 let me tell you something. I talked to somebody the other day. He was doing futures, okay? And I know a couple of good futures traders. And he's like, and he's like you know, I spent all this money on futures, this and that, and like, whatever. I'm like, okay, great. Are you making the six figures? He's like, no. How long have you been doing for? A year. A year. You've been, you've been, you, you took a year of your life that you could never get back and you're still not making money. Listen, if a, I, I use this line all the time on people. If a doctor puts you on medication and you've been on it for a month and you're getting worse, you better find a new doctor. Okay. All right. You, you going to come back. Oh no, you're going to get better. Just keep trying it, but I'm going to keep billing you for it. You know? Okay, great. Let me know how that worked out for you. Listen. If, it's, if you're doing something that's not working well, options, futures, fork, try something different. You know this is a great industry. You maybe just don't have found the right guy. Look what I showed you today, how simple trading. I didn't even, listen, I only spent about 30 minutes I showed you. 
get, let me show you live in today's markets, okay? And I'm gonna do you a favor. I'm not even gonna charge you a lot of money. I just wanna know if you're a real person. Nine dollars, that's all I ask. Nine dollars. I want you to come in my trading room for one week. And for nine lousy dollars, I'm gonna give you all this. You're gonna get pre-market trading, after-market trading. You're gonna actually talk to somebody, okay? You're gonna have your own personal advisor. You're gonna get Q and A lessons. You're gonna give you a crash course on training for nine lousy dollars. You know what I do for nine? I actually I lose money. I lose. You know, you, New York is fifteen dollars an hour. You talk to one of my people on the phone just for that long, I'm losing money, okay? So you could imagine. Why am I doing it for nine dollars? Because hopefully. It's going to weed out a lot of you to realize trading's not for you. And I want to say, you know what? Thank God I took that $9 course with Fausto at Cyber Trading because I realized trading's not for me. And then some of you are like, you know what? How do I, ha I want to do this as a career. How do I continue? All right. So I'm looking for those two people. But I need to prove it to you live in the market. You want to see live trades? You want to see all those things that we called out? You want to see another Kodak? Take $9 out of your pocket right now. Click on that link and register. And you know what? As a bonus... If you register right now, the first 20 people that register, I will even give you a personal coaching class. Why would I do that? I tell everybody this. Listen, I'm not going to make you part of my team if you really don't qualify. I have to interview you, okay? That $9 is really just an application fee, I'll be honest with you. I'm not going to take my time and waste it on somebody that really, it's not really qualified. You know what people tell me? They're like, Fausto, I was in your trading room. For a guy that's been in business for so long, that's been in the business for, for 25 years, why don't you have two, 3,000 people in your room? I was just in a trading room. The guy had 1,000 people in his room. Well, shouldn't you be like selling out? I said, I, if I want to, I can have 10,000 people in this room. But you don't qualify. We're not out there to make some stupid subscription on you. Okay, I'm looking to make tens of thousands of dollars with you, not to make some ten dollars uh, commission. Okay, a lot of those those are the people that get bad scrutiny. Those are the people in that room that are going to get those bad write-ups. Those are the people that no brokerage firm will ever endorse them because you know what? If I was a doctor and I knew I was going to get paid ten thousand dollars, knowing that it's going to kill you, but I want the ten thousand. What? How? How does that make me a good doctor? Okay, so listen. You're not spending a lot of money. Take the lousy $9 right now. Fill out that questionnaire. Get in that trading room, and we'll go from there. All right? Now, with that said, we're pretty much at the end. Um, I'm going to play a video from NASDAQ I'm gonna, in the next five minutes, but I want to answer, uh, answer some questions, and I want to thank a lot of people that are registering too because uh, that is, that's also very important. Uh, questions. Uh, sorry to join you late now. Um, so you trade Forex as well? Sean, I personally don't trade Forex. Uh, it's just not, I live here in New York, it's not our forte here. I trade stocks, but if you really want to learn how to trade Forex, there's only about three people I would recommend. Um, I put my email address, just email me. And if you're looking to find the right person, um, and this goes for anybody, futures, Forex, and options. Listen, if you love your doctor, okay, wouldn't you ask him for a recommendation? Say, you know, doc, I know you're a heart specialist, but you know what? I got, uh, you know, I got a stomach problem. Do you recommend it? Oh, yeah. You know what? The best guy, call him. Tell me you know me. He's the person you want to see. Do not read the book. Don't even do yourself a favor interviewing this guy you want to go to. Well, guess what? You want to find the right person to do in that industry? I'll let you know. Okay? Uh, Francis, how do you get level three? You know how you get level three? $9. Nine dollars. Nine dollars, and I'll tell you where to get level three, and it'll show you exactly how to use it. I do not want anybody to buy anything from any brokerage firm, any website, or anything else. Unless you let me show you live on it, you could, you'll actually, believe it or not, you'll do more damage to yourself than good. You know, you'll make, do a lot more damage. It's, it's just, that, that's what it's going to cost, nine dollars. Okay? Actually, it costs 15, so you're getting a deal. <laughs> okay? All right. Uh, just a couple of, a uh, couple of shout outs out here. I like to thank, uh, Joseph Davis from Colorado. Just got your registration. Uh, Mitch T from, uh, Sandy, Utah. Just got your registration. 
Uh, Jeff M, I'm not saying any last names, so I don't want to expose anybody. Uh, from Massachusetts, got your registration. Welcome aboard. Kevin B from uh, Tallahassee, New York. Congratulations. Look forward to seeing you. Guys, listen, when you register, it's very important. There's a questionnaire that comes in right after. Please fill out that questionnaire. We, we call the people who fill that out first because we need to know a little bit about you. We are very, um, listen, listen to me carefully. We're very overwhelmed here at CTU. A lot of our staff's working from home. Um, I actually sent people home before they even kicked people out of buildings. That's how cautious I'm in. So we're very understaffed. We're doing the best that we can. Please be patient with us, okay? Um, do what we tell you, and we'll get you through. We'll get you in the room, but we can't let you in the room unless we talk to you. We need to know who you are. We want to explain to you what you're going to see. You're going to go into the room, and you're going to be completely lost, okay? Do it the right way, not the quick way. I know you're all antsy. You want to get in there. You know what? If you want to start tomorrow, put it in a request. If you want to start next week, we'll start next week which is good. That's a good question, actually. I'm going to put that on the questionnaire. When, when's your start date? When do you want to start? I got to write that down. To start. Okay. A um, couple of questions coming across here. Some brokerage firms recommend uh, robot, uh, robot Trader. What do you think? Uh, does it work normal? I, robot Trader? What the hell is that? I mean, I don't know what Robot... I, I, I assume I know what you're talking about. Listen, you need to know if the, you need to know how to trade on your own. Okay. Don't have some platform out there. To, if that was the case, you don't even, you, you don't even need to be here. Okay. You don't even need to be here. And the brokerage firm should even be soliciting you if they got the, all these automated algorithms and auto robots doing it. So I really don't know what that means. I'm sorry. All right. Uh, what else we got here? Fausto, I already paid $9, not ready to start till I get the iPad coming uh, in a day. Well, listen, um, when, you're, when you're ready, you're ready. There's always put a bullet to your head. We're not going anywhere. Listen, I love what I do. Um, and you're going to love what, what we do. And what you're going to love even more if you can even make money and see people making money do it. So when you're ready, you're ready. Don't worry about it. All right? Uh, what else we got here? Okay, so Jeff says, after $9, what do I get? So after $9, if you want to continue, it's $149 a month to be in the trading room. But most importantly, if you want us to teach you how to trade, well, we're going we're gonna to consult you about that, all right? And so listen, it's a lot of work. And I'll be honest with you, it's not cheap. It's not cheap, you know? It's not expensive, but it's not cheap. But, you know, before you go out there, why don't you go test drive it? And let's see what we can do go from there, okay? Mark, level four, you will be seeing it in the trading room. Absolutely. You're just going to be viewing. We're not telling you to buy it. Listen, we're not making you spend money. We're not telling you to go here, there. We want you to actually see it first, okay? Would you like to test it, feel it, and drive it before you actually spend money? How many of you wanted to go buy a car? Like, oh, I want to buy that car so bad. Oh, I want to buy that. Like, you see the new Corvette? I wanted to buy it. I want to buy it. And someone looks at it like, oh, I hate it. Like I, I didn't want to buy that car. After driving, it was horrible. But then you say, oh, I, but then I, I would never think of buying a Mustang. Like, oh my God, it was the best car I ever driven. I'm just using it as a metaphor. Uh, a couple other people. Wow, you guys are registering like crazy. Beautiful. Uh, Daniel from Aventura, Illinois, got your registration. Chelsea from Texas, got your registration. George K from, I don't know if you guys are hearing your name being called, from, uh, was it Germany? All right, beautiful, great. Love the German people. Robert uh, Schneider from uh, Ohio, got your registration. Hi, Lou from Maryland, got your registration. Still coming in. Uh, Ken Faust, I found you. Fausto's room, extremely helpful. Good luck to all the new rollies. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to copy that and paste it. Thank you very much, Rich, for doing that. Listen, we have some students in here also that come here because they don't have to. You know, first of all, we only trade an hour a day. The reason why they're here is because, you know, they also want to help recruit because they know that if when we start interviewing you to be a student of ours, a trader of ours, um, if you qualify like some of them have, then you're going to they're going to know that you're going to make their life easier. Listen, you ever go to work, you ever have a job and go for an interview and get turned down? Or how about if you a boss, you ever hire someone like, 
you got all these interviews, you know, you're trying to find the right person. That's a good fit. Not that they're, they're a bad person or anything else. It's just that they're not a good fit for your company. You know, you're not, you don't want to bring cancer to your business. You don't want to have big uh, animosity into your, in your business. Um, and not everybody, you know, if you, if you could hire everybody, you probably wish you could, but you might do more damage to you than, than you did. So a lot of these people here, here today, a lot of our students, they know how hard you work. They know how hard you want to make it successful, but, we're not going to put every Tom, Dick, and Harry in that room because if you're looking for that, um, we're not the right person for you. Okay. All right, guys. Listen, a um, couple more shout outs I got here. What do we got here? We got uh, Francesco, Italian, I think. <laughs> I didn't see the, uh, the zero at the uh, a vowel at the end, probably. Francesco is my middle name, actually, from uh, Connecticut. Got your registration. Uh, Jarson from, uh, from Colorado. This is great. All right, listen, there's a lot of you guys registering. So I'm just gonna please be patient with us. We're doing the best that we can. We can get a hold of everyone here. Okay. So, you know, uh, we just don't let everybody in the room. So please, if you do register, be patient. We'll get you in there. You need to talk to somebody. You're gonna have to make an appointment. Um, and let us do what we do best. I'm telling you, you'll see why Cyber University, you know. What we're really big is in customer service. Um, my thing is, I don't want somebody to go into a room that's going to, you know, that doesn't know what he's getting himself involved in because it's going to ruin the whole experience. All right. All right. So uh, what I'm going to do right now, uh, uh, traders, I'm going to get ready. I get back, uh, get ready for my afternoon. I'm going to play a video really quick for all of you guys to listen to. Uh, regarding about the NASDAQ book viewer that I was on NASDAQ. And then as you guys are watching it, just sit back and register. All right. So I'm going to play that really quick. I'm going to go on my website and I'm just going to hit play. And uh, let me just rewind that and you guys can watch it from there. 